Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is David and today we're going to be reacting to The Boys Season 4 Episode 3. We got to find out what's going on with Homeland doing his kid. Hopefully something good happens there. We got to see what's going on with like Annie January and the Starlight Foundation. Um, maybe like Homelander gets exposed for what Sage did, but like she is the smartest person, so probably not. See what else she's got cooking. There's a lot going on right now. Anyway, let's get into this and see what's going on this episode. Is facing the biggest threat in its history. Starlighters. Not right during a rally. You say, we're facing our biggest threat. All those people right there. <laughs> right away. Oh my God. <laughs> Trying to incite another riot? They want to get rid of me. And then they want to replace you with some godless, non-binary socialists like them. Their depraved leader, Starlight, commands it. String her up! Okay, well, like, that's definitely not what's happening at all, Homelander, but you're doing great with inciting your fucking rally. Gives very strong Trump vibes. Um, I will say, I kind of agree that, like, maybe some superhero shouldn't be a thing. Like, Homelander, you're kind of indestructible. It's too much power. Is a very special day because the Seven is getting even stronger as we welcome two new members. Put your hands together for Firecracker and Sister Sage. <laughs> I can't believe that they still made her go with Sister Sage. That's so fucked up. Legitimately, come on. She could have just been Sage. Did not have to be Sister Sage at all. And I can't believe that they actually included Firecracker. Oh, I'm strong. Bitch, aren't all superheroes? <laughs> like, what? She creates sparks. Jesus Christ. A long ride. Not for long. And we better work fast. Like when we deprogram them to us, what that's say? And if he doesn't listen to us? Wait, now you're planning to kidnap Ryan? Like, knock Ryan out and then, like, deprogram him? Bro, you're just gonna make him hate you. Yo, why is everyone being so mean to this fucking kid and, like, trying to control him and manipulate him into being a, either a fucking mini version of Homelander, no, or fucking doing whatever Butcher says? Also, no. Like, bro. I get that the government's just trying to save the kid from him. Like, from Homelander. But, like, bro. This is not the way to go about it. He's just gonna grow up to hate the government. And, like, you don't want a superhero that's almost indestructible to fucking hate you. Starlight House actually caused autism. And and not that cool Rain Man autism. Makes you no, 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 because now she has a bigger platform. Like, YouTube was bad enough, because, like, YouTube can be a huge platform. Now she's on mainstream media saying these things? Fuck. Oh, my God. The Starlight Foundation's fucked. Here, make a sandwich out of her. Right there. Like, if she really cared about women, why push to let these transgenders into the girls' bathrooms? <sighs> because she in no... Realistically... Let's think about the six members of the seven right now. We have Firecracker, Black Noir, The Deep, Sister Sage, Homelander, and A-Train. If a real emergency happens, A-Train, super speed, can get there, can probably help. Homelander, flight, super speed, can get there, could help, don't know if he would, but he can Black Noir can, like, jump rooftops and stuff, so if it's nearby, he can get there. Deep, if it's in the ocean, he's got this. He can ask for help from other sea creatures, he'll get there. He can control water. Now, even if it's in, like, lakes and stuff. Now, Sage, super smart. She can help with, like, a plan. Like, if a crisis happens and they get a call, she can be like, okay, well, you can do this, this, to this. And then, like, the planning would be great with her. But, like, as for actual action, no. Useless. Useless. Firecracker? No. She literally had her splinter friend with, like, 20 copies of himself with guns. And they were taken out by the, like, gang. Um, 
I don't think she that handy. She's literally only there to make the Starlighters mad. And like, honestly, Sage a fucking genius. She really is. Like, she right. That's gonna make them super loud. I'm rescuing those kids. All right, all right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Frenchie was like, bro, I was I was just trying to disarm you and then you punched me? All right, fine. <laughs> Thankfully, Frenchie was there, bro. That could have been so bad. See, anyone can just walk in with guns and like firecrackers beat with her public voice. She's going to incite a lot of violence onto that Starlight house. She don't have to tell them anything. She She's legally fine because she's not going to be like, go attack them, blah, blah, blah. She's going to say... They have this, they have that, and people are going to believe her, so they're going to go attack her. So, shouldn't we take them off the streets and put them back on the mask singer where they belong? Damn. Um, yo, actually, kind of fucked up. Like, please don't pass that bill. No, 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 absolutely not. This is a bad idea, very bad. Yes, yes, Shining Light is hurting kids. I get that. So I do get why she wants to do it, but scary as fuck. Yes, yes, you do. She's asking, you go with her. No question, no hesitation. Okay. And A-Train, he's right there. He's ready. One guess what my problem with this might be? No, no. I think we should bring Butcher back. Fuck no. Fuck no. Honestly, getting A-Train to turn is a much better idea than bringing Butcher back. 100%. That's just the truth. Come on. Don't make me play the six months to live card. I mean, if you had a one month to live card, then that'd be something. I mean, honestly, though. Like, six months is a decent amount of time, and he's a teenager. But, like, his dad said he wasn't supposed to talk to you. He's not supposed to talk to you. You're a bad influence. Why would I meet you in real life? Anything. I studied performing arts of adult kids. We just saw her say, a woman can make it all the way to the seven without having to blow anyone. Immediately, the next scene, I'll do anything for you. Anything, 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 anything. Tickle your nuts. Anything for you. Look, I'm on an island here. Okay, I have questions, but I'm not allowed to speak. No. Do you not, did you like not know the role that you chose? Like you were casted as Black Noir. Black Noir don't talk. Like that's all he did was stand around and not talk. Sorry, that's your job now. Am I getting fired? Of course not. No. Company still needs a figurehead. <laughs> he doesn't even make the decisions. He just looked at Sage. Are we firing her? No. No, then you're not fired. Bro. <laughs> Better stay on Sage's good side now. I mean, yeah, so publicly, she'll still be the CEO. But actually, it's Sage. You do nothing now. Are you still going to pay me? Because if you're still paying me, great. I'm fine with that. You forgot to clean it, and now there's an algae bloom. Sorry, all right? You've been so distant lately, and we haven't been intimate in over... Whoa, yeah, he's going through a lot. I'm sorry, Ambrosius. I'm not embarrassed by you, okay? I've told you that. I'm, it's just, you know, it's, it's... Well, you're lying to her because, yes, you are embarrassed. Ashley told you to get rid of it. People judge you for it. You're not... You don't want people to know about it. Just... Like, and I can't even be like, just be honest with her because what are you going to be like? Yes, I am embarrassed of you, so stay in the closet where you belong. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's the deep. He has, like, fucking gills on his stomach. Like, he's different if he wants to be in a relationship with an octopus fine or that they put your brother in a wheelchair or guilt of beating three men to death of our planet Vaught. or all of the above it's just a slight melange of hallucinogens i'm fine didn't think about that super inconvenient timing like he did just take an lsd pill or something that like made him hallucinate and then she asked for his help, so he had to go while he's fucked up. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. If you were really. 
Bro, like, he is sorry. Just, like, how do you fucking tell someone I killed your whole family? Like, what? You're a murderer. A monster. I don't think like he's a monster. He is a murderer. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I know that he had his reasons. I know he was, like, under her control or whatever. But, like, assassins are still murderers. You were star. Nailed your lines at all. I actually... I accidentally hurt someone. Yep. I accidentally hurt someone that I wasn't supposed to because it was all fate. I get what you don't want me. I wouldn't want me either. That's not fair, bro. It's so obvious that Butcher does want you. He keeps trying, Ryan. Like, Ryan's just going through it right now. He don't know his own power. But no, Butcher 100% wants you and wants to help you. Why? Bro, that's so sad. I wouldn't want me either. Fuck. Hell oh, yeah. Good job, Butcher. Throw the cookies away. You know that that's not right. That's so fucked up. You don't need to deprogram him. He knows what's right and wrong. Yes, Starlight did call me a few days ago. She just wanted some help tracking. Dude, how are we going to hide anything? Like, bro! I get it, dude has anger issues, but like, Sage is the smartest person in the world. Even I know that as soon as someone says anything he disagrees with or is like undercover or betrays him in any kind of way, dead. Instantly, without question. Like, bro, he can't be in the room. You want to find out the truth? He can't be in the room. Like, bro, lasers people before they finish their fucking sentence. I mean, why would you? We were only on the same pageant circuit together for three fucking years. What? Of course I was going by. Turns out you told everyone that I had an ass fuck gang bang with the judges, which was the only way trash like me could ever make it to the final. Bruh. Okay, see, like, that's super fucked up, but, like, that's her being a fucking petty child. You, you holding that and, like, getting revenge 10 years later is kind of a bit worse, bitch. Like, you're just seething in rage for a decade? Bro. I was 13 years old. <laughs> And when I went to There's a rank on Am I the Asshole? Everyone's the asshole here. I don't talk to fat sluts. And uh, not long after that, I had to... Bro, that's so fucked up. But also, like, that's just a petty teenage thing. I've heard that so many times in middle school and high school. That's not that mean. I'm sorry, it's just not... It's just Annie going through her own things when she was a teenager. Like, you can't let that shit get to you, man. And when I'm done, the rest of the world's gonna see it too. Damn, bro. Luckily, in my case, I was, I really don't think I was ever mean in high school or middle school or even elementary school. And I didn't really do competitions like that. That was like, hurting each other the most of it was like karate and that's just you fighting and getting points um imagine being a ruthless kid because like your mom treats you a certain way and like you're in the pageant circuit so like it's a competitive space and like you spread a rumor and yes that's insanely fucked up but imagine it coming back to haunt you 20 years later like now everyone's gonna know what a fucking bitch you are bro always be nice always be nice because you never know what people are gonna grow up to be i made the call and it paid off how do you know this isn't a trap we're leaving right now whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on mm, a second. no 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 we're not we're staying here if this is what a train gave us information on we're staying here like Huey, jump on fucking board here. Soon, it's an avalanche. Well, that's not creepy or ominous at all. What is that? Right? 
Uh, luckily, Newman's also invulnerable, so she ain't scared either. In every town, with legal authority over the police. Then when you get in the Oval, you show the world who you really are. A soup in every town, with authority over the police, too. No thank you. No thank you. It's your fucking camel, I can smell him. Man's like a fucking dog. He's like, I can smell Huey. That's fucking awesome, actually. God damn it. Everywhere that he fucking goes, man. Why you always be using your laser eyes? You know humans are fragile. I know he don't care about humans, but she was an amazing singer. She was skating. Like, what the fuck? She wasn't bothering anyone. Why'd you do that? Fucking amazing. See, A-Train can be super helpful to have on your side. What you want to tell me who was that girl back there in the warehouse with the scars? Huh? We cannot. I mean, like, he does have a point. But, like, also, so does she. Like, she's just concerned for you, man. But you can be as concerned as you want for someone. If they don't want help, they don't want help. How? You know, how could you leave me? I mean, like, you should have seen this conversation coming, babe. He wants to know why you left him as a kid. Thank God I threw them up in the toilet. So the next day, I took you to school and I left. Damn. Damn, depression's a bitch. That's literally all I gotta say. Like, fuck. You never know what people are going through. At least, like, she's here now. And I know you've spent a lot of your life hating me and thinking I'm the villain, and I would never ask for your forgiveness. But... Can you forgive me? I fucking told you, we ain't turning him into an asset. He ain't ready. By the time he's ready, he'll be... You're so dumb, Butcher, if you actually thought that the dude that works for the CIA isn't trying to turn Ryan into Homelander, but a, a good version. I had nothing to do with that leak. I, I wasn't even... What is that? Is that a blooming onion from Outback? Yeah. You want some? <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, blooming onions are fire. I could never eat a whole one. I can't believe she ordered a whole one. But I mean, you gotta order a whole one if you just want like two or three bites. I only eat like two or three pieces. Scriptus isn't there yet, though. Mm, that's tough. You know, at first I kind of thought you were a bitch. You're actually pretty fucking cool. What? Because I had a bloomin' onion and she's being nice to you? But you thought she was a bitch because she took you off of crime analytics? Bitch, there was a leak from crime analytics and that was your department. Like, what would you do? You gonna find out who leaked it? That's a fucking lobotomy needle. You're ungrateful? You go behind my back, you lie to me? Why? That's what kids do normally. We're ungrateful, we go behind our parents' backs, we sneak around and stuff. And you're on another level, man. You're having him kill people and treat humans like they're ants. Worse than ants, nothing. Like, bruh, no. Come on, champ, pull yourself together. Deep breath, for God's sakes, look at you. If you starlighter bro has like dissociative identity disorder man he has like four people talking to him at the same time oh my god oh my god see like i do feel bad for homelander because he's just going through it and he wants to be a good dad how he sees it but like he doesn't listen to people like people tell you you're wrong and you laser them people ryan tells you he wants to spend time with butcher why i'm not good enough no one said you weren't good enough. I just want to go see Butcher. Like, bro, you overreact to everything. You need, need to, to go, go back, back to the start. John? Where's home?
Well, I hope you made it this far. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Like, what's your favorite part? You know, who's your favorite character? Do you think that Butcher will get, like, to Ryan and Ryan will, like, be okay? I'm sure y'all have finished the season. Like, it's okay. I just, I like doing the whole pretending like we're watching together. I know we ain't. I know we ain't. Um, remember, y'all say it. I say it. Let's say it together. See you in the next one. Bye.